Hello everyone and it's Gemma here back with the All Sorts 28 Day Fitness Challenge. I don't know how many times I've had to uh, <laughs> say that, I've taken a lot of takes on the, this video today. <laughs> I don't know why but I've messed up every time. Um, anyway, so back with the 28 Day Fitness Challenge and we've circled back round to legs today. Um, so yeah, this is going to be another tough one, legs always are. But we're not actually working the uh, quads or hamstrings or uh, calves today we're actually working the bum the glutes okay um, and yeah I think I think it will be um, okay I mean probably not as challenging as some of those squats and lunges but definitely uh, definitely painful for those that are gonna be going up to some of the higher numbers like 100 or 200 but yeah that's part of the challenge <laughs> okay then so again there's a a basic version and there's a slightly harder one and I'll take you through both of them. So I'll start off with the basic one first and basically just make sure as always there's a nice nice space because we're going to be on our back so you need enough space for your whole body and we're just going to lie flat on the ground. Again we've been in this position quite a few times now for various other movements like um, sit-ups for example. All right, and our hands are gonna be flat on the ground, nice and long by the side of our body. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna push our hips to the sky or the ceiling in this case. And we're just gonna do this movement here and we're gonna hold it at the top, squeeze those muscles. I mean, you can feel it in the hamstrings as well. They're just firing there, but you're mainly gonna be feeling it in the glutes that's why it's called a glute bridge all right and then you're slowly gonna put your hips back down to the ground again up squeeze as high as you can as high and as hard as you can and then slowly come back down all right again the reps are very straightforward on that one you'll just be counting one two three every time you raise your hips to the uh, to the ceiling Okay, that's quite a nice one. It actually, you get a little bit of, well, I feel I always get a little bit of a stretch there. Um, so yeah, that's the basic one. Okay, this is the hard one now. Um, so of course, to make it extra hard, you can always hold on to some sort of weighted object. Um, of course, it doesn't have to be a medicine ball. It could be anything that you've got. Um, again, I think I've mentioned before, bottles of water, milk, anything like that will do as long as it's got a bit of weight and you can hold that just on the lower part of your tummy and you're just going to push up and down up and down or you can do a single leg one okay one leg up in the air push up and down up and down all right and you do the same with the other leg all right so that's again that's another harder version that you might want to do to push yourselves and um i think i'm going to show you this one and I, maybe it's because i'm missing my jiu-jitsu training those of you that don't know i i trained you uh, in jiu-jitsu at a fairly uh, a fairly high level and um obviously i haven't been able to train before <laughs> but i was sat thinking you know what i can easily make this glute bridge into an actual uh, training drill that we often do in my training so if you want to pick up some jiu-jitsu skills here why not okay give this one a go so what we're going to do it's exactly the same again you're going to be on flat on um, your back and you're going to raise those hips to the sky and as you do, this hand, okay, or whatever hand you want to, I'm just starting with my right hand, comes over my left shoulder and just touches as far as I can to the other side and back down. And I'll do the same again. Push up, get that glute bridge on the go, and then you're going to twist, okay, and reach as far as you can to the opposite side behind your back. okay and the reason why there's that movement there is because if I've been taken down to the ground okay 
that opponent is likely to come on top of me and start probably punching me in the face. And this is a bridge movement and you can bridge them off your body. Okay, as fast as you can. And then this way, I'm on top of that, apart, um, that opponent there. All right, that's, you, well, <laughs> that's if you've used a really explosive movement like that and um, yeah you should be able to get on top of them <laughs> but yeah why not I thought I'd throw that one in there for those of you who want to do a little bit of sport as well <laughs> all right then again reps with that one um, it would be one one two two and so on um, again with single leg it would be one one two, two, and so on, to reach your target. All right, again, um, you can choose your daily target, 50, 100, 200, you should know the drill now. And again, you don't have to do it all in one sitting like I am, you can do it throughout the day, some in the morning, some in the lun at lunchtime, some in the evening. It's up to you, as long as you reach that daily target, those that are keeping to this challenge. All right then, I'll see you at 100. Whew. Okay, um, yeah, that is 100 done, um, if you're doing, if you're doing my one, um, it is quite longer because you are counting both sides as, as what, like, um, as a one total rep, um, so yeah, it's quite, um, quite a long one, quite a hard one, especially on your shoulders, killing me off, um, but yeah, still going strong. Um, so yeah, definitely one that um, <laughs> I missed the soft mat for at Jiu Jitsu, <laughs> but no, no, it's, it's actually alright, um, so yeah, keep going strong, on 100, I'll see you at 200. Um, I really enjoyed that actually, although it may not look like it. Uh, no, I actually enjoyed that because it just kind of took me back to a bit of Jiu Jitsu training, which was fantastic. Um, again, you don't have to do that one, um, but it was just another variation that you could do. Um, having done that, I would probably recommend that um, if you did want to go with that one, maybe do 50 of that one, 50 of maybe a ball. Um, just doing the, the normal one with the ball there, up and down, um, just so it's it's less um, less pressure on the shoulders really. Not that it was a massive issue, but if you're doing that on a bit of a carpet, you might get a bit short sold shoulders. But um, yeah, I'll give it a go though. It's, it's a really fun one. Um, yeah, fantastic guys. I will um, see you for another video tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye.